Hey guys and welcome back. Today I am going to be doing a quick little get ready with me. I'm going out for drinks today because things are finally opening up again and I'm going to a patio even though the weather's not great so I might not end up on a patio. But anyway, I thought I would film myself getting ready. This video is also kindly sponsored by Fancy. They sent me one of their lighted mirrors to try so I'm really excited to share that with you guys today. Thank you Fancy for sponsoring this video and let's just go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna start off by giving you guys a quick overview of the Nala mirror that they did send me. I'll give you guys some shots of the mirror as well so you can see what it looks like. I've been really loving it. I've been using it a ton lately. Basically the reason why Fancy created this was to help with bad beauty lighting which can be when you are doing your makeup in say the bathroom and everything looks good and then when you go out into natural light it just looks completely different and it doesn't look at all like what you thought your makeup looked like in the bathroom mirror. The Nala mirror is meant to conquer bad beauty lighting with their true glow technology. It also has three color temperatures so you can change it between soft white, natural daylight, and neutral white light. My favorite to use is natural daylight. The mirror is rechargeable. It does come with a charger in the box so you can just plug it in recharge it. It does have an auto shut off after 30 minutes. It also came with a small detachable 10 times magnification mirror. You have to hold it up quite close to your face when you're using the 10 times magnification mirror, but it really, really zooms up and you can see every little hair, every little spot on your face. Um, it's kind of terrifying, but it's good if you are needing to get really up and close in your face. I've been using this mirror, like I said, quite a bit lately. By the way, I am filming in natural lighting right now. Rotate the mirror as well. It can be carried around. You can place it pretty much anywhere in your house, wherever you need to get ready. I really like the light that it provides because right now I don't need, need this, but when we're back to work, I'm getting ready at like six in the morning and it's dark outside and I always have that fear that my makeup looks good in my lighting at home, but then when I get to work in a natural lighting or in fluorescence, it just doesn't look good. So I'm really looking forward to using this back in the fall when we start going into the office again, and I'm gonna be getting ready in the dark. This will really improve my makeup routine and the way my makeup looks on my face. I will leave the product linked in the description bar below. So definitely check it out if you are interested in it. I think I also have a discount code, so I will leave that down below as well if I do have one. I can't remember now, but I think I do, so I will link it down below. Anyway, that is this mirror. Really excited about it, and I'm gonna turn it on now, probably to the daylight setting, because that's what I like to use, and I'm gonna go and do my makeup. I just wanna quickly show you guys what I mean by like how much light it gives my face. This is with the daylight setting, so I'm just going to turn it off, and this is without any light. So this is just natural light, and this is with the daylight setting. It kind of just brightens up my face. So it's actually good for when I'm filming videos as well. I try to use natural lighting when I can, but sometimes it's too dark outside. Like today is a good example. It's very cloudy out and it's perfect to use this mirror. So I'm just gonna start by priming my skin with my e.l.f. Poreless Putty Primer. I'm actually very behind right now. I have to leave soon, so I'm gonna try and get through this real fast. For my face, I'm actually going to use my Super Dewy Skin Tint from Makeup Revolution. I haven't used this in a while. It's one of my favorite tinted moisturizers from the drugstore. I was gonna use a sponge, but then I didn't have one ready, so I'm going to blend this out with my e.l.f. Oval Brush. The big size, I think it's just called the large. Blend this in to my skin. I love this tinted moisturizer. It just looks so good on the skin. Undetectable almost. It provides me with pretty decent amount of coverage, but it still looks like my skin and it doesn't look like I'm wearing a thick layer of product on my face. I just really love it. It also lasts really well on my skin. So overall, a great product. I'm also going to apply some concealer. This is just my L'Oreal Age Perfect. Radiant Concealer in the shade Creamy Beige. I'm gonna apply a little bit because I am using this tinted moisturizer underneath, so I don't need a ton of concealer today. This is the e.l.f. 
oval brush again, but in the small size. I don't know why, but my skin is so dry today. It looks, it looks horrible. Um, I don't know what's going on. I'm going to apply my bronzer, which is the Rimmel Stick Bronzer yet again. I love this product, but I'm also trying to finish it up as you guys know if you've been following along with my other videos I am slowly working through old products that have been in my collection for much too long and I'm using the elf brush again one of their oval brush but this one is in the medium size I also like to take whatever's left from the bronzer on my nose and chin just to even things out a bit. I'm gonna set everything on my face with the Rimmel Insta Fix and Matte Setting Powder. Again, it is a product that I am trying to finish up. I probably shouldn't be using it because my skin is so dry today. Uh, but we're gonna use it anyways because I'm just trying to finish it. I think I'm just gonna set my entire face today. I don't know why. I guess because I used the tinted moisturizer. Favorite part, I'm going to add some blush. This is the Mini So Blusher in the shade 6 or number 6. It's a beautiful pink and I think it just transforms my face when I put it on. Um, and the way I've been liking to apply blush lately is kind of in an, a sideways 3, I guess, like sweeping it up and down like this. I'm gonna take a little bit as well on my chin. Okay, I'm gonna just spritz my face and then we'll come back and do the eyes. Okay, moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna use my June palette of the month, which is Temptress by Alter Ego. I haven't used this in a while, but I'm going to start by just setting my lids with the shade in Lace because I did apply my Milani eyeshadow primer and I feel like I need to set that down. All of these brushes that have this mint barrel are all from BH Cosmetics, by the way. I know a lot of people ask me what brushes I'm using, so anytime you see these mint ones, they are BH Cosmetics. And I'm also gonna try and remember to tell you guys what brushes I'm using in every video. I wanna then go into the shade Uptown, which is a cool, light, a light, cool brown shade. And I'm just going to take this one into my crease area. It's such a gloomy day outside. I'm not feeling like anything bright or fun on the lid. I'm just going to go in with this cool brown and hopefully just stick to neutrals if I can help it today. Also going to take this cool brown shade, <clears throat> choking, uh, under my eyes as well on the lower lash line. Okay, and then I'm gonna go in with my brown eyeliner from Maybelline and I'm going to line my lower lash line, kind of the outer corner only. I'm also going to line the upper outer corner as well. I'm not super precise when I am adding the eyeliner because I'm gonna smudge it out anyway but I try and get it fairly close, if possible, to the lash line. And I'm gonna take the shade After Hours right here, and I'm gonna use that to smoke out and smudge out this brown eyeliner. I'm gonna do that to both the top eyeliner and the bottom lash liner. I think this technique just really has a way of making your eyes wider, more luminous, bigger. My sisters used to always tell me that I had small eyes, but I don't actually know if I have small eyes or if I just have small eyes compared to them because they have very big eyes. This technique does make your eyes look very big and luminous for sure. Definitely bigger than normal. Just maybe, yeah, maybe a little bit. I'm gonna go in and add a little bit of the shade Sterling, like not a ton. I'm just gonna take like a fluffy brush to do it. It's this kind of silvery shade. I just wanna add a little bit of it to the inner part of my eye. Yeah, just like a little bit. That's another way to make your eyes look bigger, by the way. At least I think it's a way to make your eyes look bigger is to just use like a lighter luminous shade in the inner half. It's everything. I'm just going to take that original brush we used for the uptown crease shade. I'm just going to make sure everything is blended. That is it. So 
mascara, curl my lashes, mascara, and then I'll be back for the lip. I forgot to mention that I've already done my brows as well. I did them off camera, but those are the eyes complete. So for lipstick, I'm gonna go in with my usual, the I Am Smart shade from Milani, just because I don't want anything, oh god, that on my tooth. I don't want anything crazy today. And this is my current favorite, like, nude lipstick. And that sums up this video. So that completes this get ready with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It's a very simple everyday look for me. I feel like I'm going to be doing it a lot in the month of June when I'm actually wearing makeup. Thank you again to Fancy for sponsoring this video. Don't forget to check out the Nala mirror if you're interested in it. I feel like it will change your makeup routine for sure because it definitely has changed mine and I know it's going to change the way I do my makeup once I am back to working in the office and I'm going to be getting ready in the dark. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you as always for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Please subscribe if you'd like to see more videos and I'll see you in my next one.